Dale Niemeyer, and I am Judy Niemeyer's daughter. Uh, she is busy teaching all across the country for the next few weeks, and we wanted to do some demonstrations on how to use the Quiltworks Belly Pop strip sets. So I am helping her out with that today. Uh, we're going to talk today about the garden wall pattern. Uh, this is one of our newest patterns. It came out in January, and it is uh, designed around the Quiltworks Belly Pop strip set. And it uses one strip of, or one package of 48 strips. Uh, to explain a little bit about the Quiltworks Ballet Pop strip set, uh, this is a project that we did with Hoffman Fabrics last summer. Uh, and Judy asked them to consider putting 48 strips into a package instead of 40. And they agreed to do that, and the reason why is because it works so well with our other wedding ring quilts. Uh, but it also lends itself very well to a number of other quilt patterns that we have designed. Uh, this is actually a redesign layout of an older version of a quilt that we have called the Waterfalls. And we just did some different things with borders and uh, sashing to come up with the new look. Uh, the, the other nice thing about these uh, Quiltworks Belly Pops is that Judy hand selected all the fabrics so you know that you're getting the exact fabric that was used in this particular quilt and she also had these strips pre-sorted. Uh, so they were sorted into color groups and I'll show you what a color group is here. Uh, a color group is just a group of eight strips that run from the darkest color to the lightest color for that particular group. Now these are done this way to help with laying out your ring sets for your wedding ring patterns but they also lend themselves very well to, um, you know, the way that you lay out the strips for some of these other patterns. Uh, they also provide a very nice color wash that allows you to build a variety of blocks from light to dark. And that's what we did. That was what we, um, that was what we wanted to use in order to build this garden wall. If you, I, you can't probably see the bottom of the quilt, but I'll put a picture into the video that shows you the dark fabrics, all the dark colors in this group, are collected down on this bottom corner of the quilt and um, the lighter colors are collected up at the top corner. So uh, basically, all you need to do is pull apart your strip sets into the groups that you have and then grab all of your light blocks, um, all of your light strips off of the top and then you're going to take those to your machine and you'll sew up eight eight blocks. Now what you're going to coordinate those with is a group of solids. For the quilt that's on the wall, we picked blues and purples. So we used, um, let me see, we used four purples out of this group and four blues out of this group. And then we, um, we picked the lighter colors to go with some of these lighter blocks. Or no, we picked a dark color up in the corner, a dark color down in the bottom, and then we ran into the light colors in the middle. So that's how we chose to um, pair up our strips. So you're going to cut your coordinating backgrounds into another group of two and a half inch strip sets, and then you're going to go through the process of pairing the colors up. So you'll pull off your light strips, and then you're going to pair those up with, you know, your dark, um, your dark blues or your dark color that goes in this side of the quilt. And then you're going to pair up your dark strips on the bottom side with your dark colors in the other background color that you used in your quilt. And then you'll take all your medium strips and pair those up with the lightest colors in the group. And that's essentially how you put this together. Uh, one of the nice things you might realize is um, you can do like two, 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 and two, and so then you're going to have four strip sets, or four colors here. So I'll show you real quick with just one group. If I picked out of these purples, you know, the lightest color here, and then I'm going to pick this color as my next color, and then I'll pick... Um, this color and maybe this color or whatever. There's my group of purples. I might take these two lightest colors and pair those with the lightest color purple. Your two mediums and then I'm going to pair that with the next color here. Then you're going to take your two medium darks 
You're going to pair that with the next color. And then you're going to take your two darks and you're going to pair that with your darkest color. Very fast, very easy way to sort these out and prep this quilt. Uh, and that's one of the great things about the way that these Valley Pop strip sets uh, work. Uh, you, there's almost no prep time in color in order to get the look that you want. Another thing I want to say about this is that you don't have to use the purple and the blue in the background. You could use, for example, greens and yellows and get a much more summery look instead of a springtime look to this. Or, um, you know, this is there's brown and yellows. Uh, it just depends on what look you want to get. You just pick your two favorite color groups and put those together and you'll get an entirely new look. And then finally, uh, one other unique piece or thing about this garden wall pattern is that we have applique on it. You can see the applique up here in the corner. Now this is a new product that Quiltworks put out. It's called a Quiltworks Impression. Uh, there's a video on our YouTube page that shows you how to use the Quiltworks Impressions to, um, in order to apply them to your quilt top before you use machine applique to machine applique them on. The pattern that we have here today uses the Desert Blossoms. Uh, this is one package. You will need two of these packages to complete this quilt. In the pattern is an actual layout card that shows you how to put together your flowers. You can use this with an applique pressing sheet. You sim simply slide this underneath the applique pressing sheet and then you can actually read the wording and then you find the pieces that are the same size as the ones in your um, block and there's little color diagrams at the top that you can follow as well and that's how you build your flowers so pre-build all of your flowers and then you lay your stems and your leaves out and then lay your flowers on and that's how you create the design for the layout feel free to put more of these on we also have three other different packages of flowers you could mix and match and combine them to get a very different look uh, the one on the cover just uses two patterns of desert blossoms, but you can, you know, do whatever it is to make it look the way you want. Uh, so thank you for tuning in for our garden wall pattern and our Quiltworks Belly Pops.